Hey guys, I like to think that people are a lot like balloons. You know, whenever we have a balloon, you blow it up and then there's a lot of pressure on the inside and because of that pressure, it inflates, right? And whenever you think about a person, like a lot of times we take things and we put them on the inside and we allow that to build pressure. And the problem is that eventually that pressure, we don't ever let it out and we just keep on blowing in there and blowing in there and we let it all stay until all of a sudden, boom, you know, we pop. And that's just sadly the way that it is. But if we learned how to release the things that, you know, the pressures, the, the sadness, the, the anger, the frustration, if we can learn how to release it in a healthy way, right? Because if we, you know, like what happens a lot of times if we don't pop, right? If we, we are like, oh man, I'm going to pop sometime soon. Then what we'll do is we'll wait until it's close. And then all of a sudden we'll let all the air out on once. And then, then all of a sudden we're just unloading on someone, right? We're unloading all of our burdens all at the same time. And then we just go back to holding it all back together again. And that doesn't make sense either. It's not healthy. And so when I look at what Jesus told you know, the disciples, he said that if a town didn't accept them to shake the dust off their sandals and continue on. And I think that there is some wisdom here in the way that we deal with all of our emotions. Whenever someone doesn't accept us, whenever things don't go our way, whenever all this frustration happens, we can release it by letting it out. See, air the air that we are holding in or the air in the balloon isn't bad, but inside and keep on pressing in, it, it just creates more pressure. So what we have to do is we have to release it and we have to release it outside of us, right? So we have to talk to people. We have to, you know, let it out, talk to God. We have to put it in our prayers, right? In order to release it. But if we hold it all in, then that's going to build the pressure inside of us. Now, notice one other thing, and this is actually really awesome. Whenever you have a balloon and you release the air, it doesn't do anything really to the outside. It doesn't do anything to the atmosphere. So just because you release something doesn't change the situation around you, but it changes the inside of you. So that being said, don't expect because you told everyone that you got angry or you told, you know, like this, that, and the other, that all of a sudden everything is, you know, going to going to get fixed. It's not to change the atmosphere around you. It's to change what's inside of you. So that being said, take your sandals, take your balloon, release your, <laughs> release the pressure, shake off the dust off your sandals, and let's keep moving forward. Thanks for taking a minute.